Beetlejuice, the dying giant and the birth of cosmic insight. For decades, astronomers have had their sights set on one of the most luminous and mysterious stars in the sky, Betelgeuse, a red supergiant on the verge of imploding. Scientists long thought its end was near, they just weren't sure when. Now, the James Webb Space Telescope has recorded something few dared hope to see, the very moment Betelgeuse began to explode. A star explosion, a shock wave from space, and a brief look at the universe's raw and bridled energy. This is not just another deep space discovery, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience the nearest supernova human history has ever witnessed. And what Webb uncovered is appending everything we believed we knew. Betelgeuse, in Orion's shoulder, is no ordinary star. It's a red supergiant, larger than 700 suns and roughly 20 times more massive. Astronomers have watched for decades as it behaved erratically, expanding, dimming, and randomly erupting. In 2019, it suddenly dimmed, prompting worldwide speculation. Was this the beginning of the end? Would it finally go supernova with Webb's unparalleled accuracy? The enigma only deepened. For the first time, we are witnessing live signals of a starring collapse, gigantic energy explosions, turbulent surface activity, and magnetic fields wrapped in chaos. Betelgeuse isn't just dying, it's going through a cosmic transformation. Webb has spent months observing Betelgeuse, using its infrared sensitivity to pierce layers that no other telescope could reach. The findings are mind-boggling, huge convective bubbles, some as large as Jupiter, bursting onto the star's surface. Plumes of superheated gas are exploding outward at unimaginable speeds. Buried within the spectrum of light, astronomers have discovered a shock wave traveling through the star's outer layer. This isn't a model or simulation, this is real-world physics, a supernova occurring before our very eyes. And it's happening just 640 to light years away. Most supernovae appear in galaxies far beyond our own, but Betelgeuse is essentially our astronomical neighbor. Its final blast will glow so intensely it may be visible in daylight, outshining even the full moon. Yet beyond the spectacle, its proximity offers scientists an intimate view of a dying star, a front row seat to a core collapse showing how life-forming elements like carbon and oxygen are created and how shock waves sculpt space itself. What Webb photographed is not merely death, it's the very engine of creation that drives life throughout the universe. The Betelgeuse supernova is not just a spectacular sight. It's the key to deciphering the secrets of galaxy formation, the origins of planetary systems, and the cosmic cycle of life. Webb's technology enables scientists to simulate the terminal stages of stellar life with unprecedented accuracy. For the first time, we finally know what a star looks like as it dies, and perhaps we may even learn to anticipate the next supernova before it occurs. More than a scientific breakthrough, this is a revelation, a unique moment in human history when humankind witnesses the machinations of creation itself. Supernova explosions are nothing new, but this one's shock waves are already traveling through space, disturbing the interstellar medium light years away. Webb has observed high-energy particles spreading outward, warming surrounding gas clouds and distorting the shape of the star's dust halo. Even more remarkable, scientists believe the collapse may have generated gravitational waves, faint ripples in the fabric of spacetime itself. If true, this would mark the first direct association between an observed supernova and gravitational data, potentially transforming our understanding of how gravity, light, and matter interact at a cosmic scale. As Betelgeuse shatters, a fundamental question resurfaces, what will be left? Will it collapse into a neutron star, a black hole, or something entirely different? Webb's observations suggest the collapse is not symmetrical. Irregularities in magnetic fields, plasma voids, and evidence of matter crashing inward hint at something far more complex. Scientists now speculate about a transition object, a hypothetical state between a neutron star and a black hole. If Webb has indeed captured one in formation, it would be the first proof of this new type of cosmic body. Of course, many wonder, are we at risk? The short answer is no, Betelgeuse is far too distant to harm Earth. 
But the story is more nuanced. The blast will release waves of radiation, gamma rays, and electromagnetic bursts that may affect distant dust clouds, alter star formation, and change how we perceive light from other regions of the universe. For now, Webb continues to monitor the velocity and direction of the radiation. Though we are safe, the event might quietly alter our corner of the galaxy. Betelgeuse is old, vast, and mighty, and now it's dying. A harsh reminder that even the brightest stars have lifespans. But in this death, something greater is born. The explosion scatters the seeds of new worlds, carbon, oxygen, and iron that will one day coalesce into planets, oceans, and even life itself. This isn't destruction, it's cosmic renewal. And we are fortunate witnesses, through the Webb Telescope, to the universe's rebirth, supernova by supernova. Among Webb's trove of data, scientists have also discovered something unexpected, anomalous changes in the chemistry of the expelled material. In addition to common elements like carbon and iron, the blast is ejecting rare materials such as technetium and yttrium, elements that can exist only in the extreme heat and pressure of a stellar explosion. Their presence allows scientists to chart the life cycle of matter across the Milky Way, 